In statistics, one of the first things we want to do once we've gathered a sample of data is to format that data into a table or a graph so that it's easier to visualize. In this case, let's say we have a sample with five observations. In other words, n equals five. And each value is three, five, 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 and seven. One of the most basic ways we can visualize this in a table is called a frequency table, where we plot the frequencies of each of these observations. So in a frequency table, we start from the lowest value and we go up to the highest value. So our numbers are three, four, five, six, and seven. Our frequency goes in the next column. So here we had one occurrence of three. It's a frequency of one. We had three occurrences of five. So that's a frequency of three. And we had one occurrence of seven. So that is a frequency of one. There were no occurrences of four or six. So those frequencies are both zero. The last thing we want to do is put in a percentage column so that we can quantify what percentage of the time we have each of these observations. So we say percent sign. And to calculate this, we need the frequency divided by the number of observations. So frequency divided by n. In the case of 3, there was a frequency of 1 divided by n of 5 is 1 over 5, or 0.2. That's a percentage of 20. For 4, there were no observations, and therefore it's 0 over 5, which is 0. For the observation of 5, we had 3 frequencies, and so that is going to be a percentage of 0.6, or 60%. There were no occurrences of 6, so that's a percentage of 0. And there was one occurrence of 7, so that is a percentage of 20. To make sure that you've done this table correctly, you should do two checks. One is to make sure that all of your frequencies add up to the total number of observations. We should be accounting for every observation. So 1 plus 3 plus 1 is 5, and there were indeed 5 observations. The second check, if you've made a percentage column, is to make sure that the percentages add up to 100%. Again, we should be accounting for every observation. None should be left out, and we should therefore be accounting for 100% of the observations. In this case, we have 20 plus 60 plus 20, which equals 100%. That's how you make a simple frequency table with a percentage column. And in the next tutorial, we'll be talking about how to plot this in a diagram called a histogram.